दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेयर बाय आव्या क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल रेज योर डाउट एंड वॉच द वीडियो फॉर श्योर सक्सेस इन जे एम सनीट नाउ वी लर्न द कंसेप्ट ऑफ वर्क डन बाय वेरिएबल फोर्स सो इफ द फोर्स इज 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 नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट और इनफैक्ट इफ इफ द एंगल बिटवीन फोर्स एंड डिसप्लेसमेंट इज ऑल्सो नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट इन इन डैट केस वी कैन नॉट यूज द नॉर्मल मेथड ऑफ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ऑफ वर्क डन दैट इज एज वी एज नो डैट द वर्क डन बाई अ बॉडी अंडर द फोर्स एफ एंड हैविंग अ डिसप्लेसमेंट एस इज गिवेन बाई एफ डॉट एस इट्स इट्स अ डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फोर्स एंड डिसप्लेसमेंट एंड इज इक्वल टू एफ एस कॉसिटा नाउ इफ द एंगल थीटा इज चेंजिंग एंगल थीटा इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट आइर इट इंक्रीजेज और डिक्रीज एंड सिमिलरली फोर्स इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स ऑल्सो चेंजेज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डिसप्लेसमेंट लाइक इफ द पोजिशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट चेंजेज दैन द फोर्स चेंजेज और द एंगल थीटा बिटवीन फोर्स एंड डिसप्लेसमेंट चेंजेस सो इन दिस केस वी विल टेक अ स्मॉल इंक्रीमेंटल डिसप्लेसमेंट एंड वी कैलकुलेट द इंक्रीमेंटल वर्क डन इन दिस वे एंड वी जस्ट इंट्रीगेट दिस इंक्रीमेंटल वर्क इंक्रीमेंटल वर्क और इनफाइनाइटेसिमल वर्क टू गेट द होल वर्क और द टोटल वर्क so it is shown in this figure if you consider this figure then the particle is moving from 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 point a to point b in the path shown by this curved line now if you and uh, the force is uh, towards horizontal direction that is towards x axis so force is towards x axis now as the object moves on on this uh, this path then the displacement is along this displacement at any point is along the tangent to this this curve so if i consider any point then the displacement will be along the tangent and the angle theta is changing the the angle between force and displacement is changing in in this case so we we cannot use the our for, formula of w is equal to dot product of f dot ds what we will do we will take a small displacement ds we will take a small displacement ds and we consider the force which is making theta with this small displacement ds and the work done in this case will be dw and is equal to f dot ds so it is f ds cos theta so clearly we just consider a small displacement and the force and the, and the angle between force and displacement is it and is theta then the the small work or the infinitesimal small work will be equal to f dot ds cos theta now the total work will be calculated after the integration of this this small work so total work is the integration of dw so all these concepts are written here that when the magnitude and direction of a force varies with position then the work done by such force cannot be be, be calculated we will just calculate the work done by this force for a infinitesimal displacement that is for a very small displacement denoted by ds so the work done by for this small displacement is equal to dw and is equal to f dot ds the total work uh, done in bo in going from a to b is uh, then given by integration of uh, this small work from the point a to b so if we integrate this then it is f dot ds cos theta and the limit is s s is equal to a to s is equal to b so we just put a uh, lim limit of this integration and get the value of total work done so the variable force category comes under two part when the angle between force and displacement changes which is shown in this figure if you see in this figure then uh, the 
the particle moves along this curve and the angle between force and displacement changes. Second is that when the magnitude of force changes, suppose the, the magnitude of force will be such that it is equal to A plus BT. So if you see this, uh, this figure or this, this equation then the force is not constant, force depends on the time or if the force is equal to F is equal to Kx, here the force is not constant and it depends on the displacement. So clearly when the force is not constant, the magnitude of force is not constant, it, it changes, then we cannot use the straight away the formula uh, of work done W is equal to F dot S. What we will do, do, we just make a, a small displacement dx. Like in this case, when f is equal to kx, then the object is at, this is our initial point, that is x is equal to 0, and object covers a net distance, x is equal to x1. So what we will do, we will just take a random distance x, and consider that a small displacement made by the object at this point and this is a small displacement is equal to dx so at a distance x the object makes a small displacement equal to dx and the work done in this process will be equal to dw and is equal to f dot dx so here f is the function of displacement so f is equal to kx into dx so dw is equal to kx into dx so the net work done will be the integration of this uh, work done, uh, a small work done and it is equal to kx dx. Now if you see this equation then what should be the limit of x? The limit of x should be from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to x1. So x is equal to 0 to x is equal to x1 and in this way we just calculate the net work done by this object. So in this problem the work done comes equal to kx square kx1 square by 2. So clearly this is the approach to solve the, the problem when the force is not constant, when the force is variable or the angle between force and displacement is not constant. Now we will learn about this too in detail. So first concept is that calculation of work done in case of variable force. So suppose at any point the if you consider a small displacement ds and the force which is making an angle theta with this displacement then the work done this small work done or the infinitesimal work will be equal to dw and it's a dot product of f dot ds now the net work done will be equal to uh, will be the in, uh, integration of this dw and is equal to integration of a to b f cos theta into ds as as the angle between this force and ds will be theta so if so if we write the equation in terms of rectangular component then what we will get that uh, the force f may be written in the uh, in the form of i j k that is in terms of unit vector and suppose the component of force along x axis will be f x component along y axis will be f y and along z axis will be f z then uh, and 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 similarly if the component of displacement along i j uh, uh, along x and y and z axis will be dx dy and dz respectively then uh, if we put this value of f and ds in this equation what we will get we will get in this form so the value will be equal to work done will, will be equal to fx dx plus fy dy plus fz dz and the limit is for a to b so we, we get now if we can uh, consider fx uh, in fact if we consider dx then dx is the change in x 
so for the consideration of dx we will only take the change in x coordinate of point a and b so what we will do if we take this into two part into three parts then it's equal to x a in x b f x dx plus y a y b f y d y plus z a z b f z d z clearly as here our uh, variable is is d x so we will take the value of x which is changing means we are taking the limit from x a to x b similarly if you see here also our variable is d y so we are taking limit from y a to y b that uh, that is y component of point a is is denoted as y a and y component of point b will be denoted by y b and so on so this is our final formula for uh, work done that is w is equal to w is is given by x a x b integration f x d x plus y a y b f y d y plus z a z b f z d z so clearly f x f y and f z are the forces along x axis y axis and z axis respectively we learn the work done calculation by force displacement graph so below is the graph of force displacement and this is the curve which shows the force displacement graph so clearly at the initial point which is given by xi the force the value of force is f1 and the point which is the final point denoted by xf the force will be given by equal to f2 so as clearly from this figure force is not constant for this force displacement graph so how we will calculate the work done in this case so consider a, a small stripe of width dx that is if you consider a small displacement dx occurred at the point x then the work done by for this small displacement dx will be given by dw is equal to f dot dx and if you consider this this small displacement then although the force is is changing but for this small part we may think force remains constant as at the start of this point that, uh, that is at the at the point x if the force will be f and at the point x plus dx the force will be f plus df so we may consider this uh, this force remains to be constant for this a small displacement and this force will be treated as equal to f so dw is equal to f dot ds so f dot ds is 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 basically the area of this stripe so if we integrate this dw if we integrate this dw then what it what it means it means we are just adding such a small small stripes and if we add such a small stripes it will eventually cover the whole area that is if we make the limit of x from xi to xf what it means it means we are taking a, a small stripe from the the initial point xi and and just uh, uh, we are taking a small small stripes from x is equal to x i to x f so so basically we are adding this whole area and we are just calculating this whole area so the work done in case of force displacement graph is the area of this force displacement graph so it is written here that consider a body moves from the initial point x i to the final point x f and is acted by a variable force f please note that here the force is variable so if f is the average force average value of this variable force within this small interval dx from the position x to x plus dx 
for this small displacement and in this case the work done will be the area of the shaded strip of this width dx this one so the work done on the body in displacing it from the position xi to xf will be equal to sum of areas of all such such strips and this can be calculated by taking the integration of this work done and it is equal to so if we calculate the this integration we just get the total work done so 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 the work done is equal to xi to uh, integration of xi to xf limit and area of a stripe having width dx and it is equal to area under curve between xi and xf so we we covered how we calculate the work done in 